from the very beginning, I thought of Reva as an opportunity to work with new designers, new architects, kind of coach out of them ideas that they wouldn't be my ideas, the ones that, I, that I've shown in my work. So the excitement of developing the Reva, the Reva themes was like the opportunity to, to just mingle with new talent and explain to them what I had in mind, see if what they had in their mind and the blend between the two could be the, the Reva uh, design uh, motifs. The idea behind Reva's uh, theatre design was to get away from theatrical architecture or three-dimensional objects and depend on images of familiar objects where, where you exhibit them on the wall like artwork, you illuminate them uh, like the art on a gallery wall and let the pictures tell a story. Coming up with designs for Eva had to be totally different than designing three-dimensional theaters, which is what I've been doing throughout my career, because it would be too expensive to build a whole set and too time-consuming to install it. Reva was designed with the principle that whatever is the decor inside the room has to be easy to make and easy to install, usually not more than one day. away from the three-dimensional approach of, of designing a theater and creating a sense of curating artwork in a gallery. It was strangely liberating for me. I was concerned that I would miss the three-dimensionality that columns and panels bring into a theater design, but it was the opposite. What I lost in three-dimensionality, we gain in variety of subject matters, themes that turn the room into something totally different. Sports, seascapes, abstract shapes, all of these things kind of made up for the lack of three-dimensional architectural three-dimensionality in my mind. <music> 